To change the engine oil and filter on your Sportsman 500, follow these steps. For optimal performance, always use Polaris recommended fluids as described in your owner's manual. Park the vehicle on a flat level surface. Ensure it is in park and set the parking brake. Next, start the engine, allow it to warm up at idle for two to three minutes, and stop the engine. Continue by cleaning the area around the dipstick. Then, remove the dipstick and set it aside. Next, place a drain pan under the engine crankcase. Placing a rag in the bottom of the drain pan will help prevent the splashing of oil. Then, clean the area around the oil drain plug. Remove the drain plug and washer and allow the oil to drain completely. Approximately one cup of engine oil will remain in the crankcase that will be removed later. Next, slide the clamp off the upper vent hose on the tank. This procedure may be difficult on these models and may require removal of the oil tank. Then, remove the middle vent hose on the oil tank. Note that on X2 and Touring models, the screen fitting on the tank is difficult to access. Removing the tank will aid in clearance. Next, carefully remove the screen fitting from the tank. Use care when removing the fitting, as the plastic tank may either strip or break. Then, clean the screen fitting while inspecting for damage or wear and replace if necessary. Continue by cleaning the threads on the tank and ensuring they are free of any oil or Loctite. Then, apply Loctite 505 sealant or an equivalent pipe thread sealant to the threads. Next, reinstall the screen fitting into the oil tank and rotate it clockwise a minimum of two and a half turns. Rotate the fitting until it aligns with the reference mark on the tank. Then, reconnect the oil hose and reposition the clamp over the fitting. If previously removed, align the oil tank with the mounting holes and reinstall the fasteners. Then, torque the fasteners to specification. Next, reconnect the middle vent hose on the oil tank. Then, reconnect the upper hose on the oil tank and slide the clamp over the fitting. Next, clean any dirt or debris from the drain plug and ensure the sealing surfaces are free of any nicks or scratches. Also, install a new sealing washer on the drain plug. Then, reinstall the drain plug and torque to specification. Before continuing, clean any residual oil off the vehicle. Next, access the oil filter on the left side of the engine and clean any dirt or debris. Then, place a shop rag underneath the filter to catch excess spillage. Continue by turning the filter counterclockwise to remove it. Side panel removed for video purposes. Then, clean any residual oil off the vehicle. Next, using a clean dry cloth, clean the filter sealing surface on the crankcase. Then, lubricate the O-ring on the new filter with a film of fresh engine oil and ensure the O-ring is in good condition. Continue by installing the new filter and rotating it clockwise by hand until the filter gasket contacts the sealing surface. Then, turn it an additional half of a turn. Before continuing, remove any shop rags from underneath the oil filter. Next, 
move to the lower right side of the crankcase to clean the area around the crankcase drain plug. Then, remove the crankcase drain plug and allow the oil to fully drain. Next, clean any dirt or debris from the drain plug and ensure the sealing surfaces are free of any nicks or scratches. Also, install a new sealing washer on the drain plug. Then, reinstall the drain plug and torque to specification. Next, fill the engine with the proper amount of the recommended oil through the oil dipstick port. Do not overfill. Then, reinstall the dipstick and wipe up any residual oil. Side panel removed for video purposes. Next, clamp or pinch off the vent line two inches from the oil tank to prime the engine. If necessary, refer to the oil pump priming procedure in the owner's manual for more information. Then, start the engine and allow it to idle for 10 to 15 seconds. Stop the engine and inspect for any leaks. Then, remove the vent line clamp. Next, remove the dipstick and wipe with a clean shop towel. Reinstall the dipstick fully and remove again to inspect the oil level. Add oil as needed to bring the level to the upper mark on the dipstick. Then, reinstall the dipstick and wipe up any residual oil. Continue by disposing the used oil and filter properly at your local recycling center. Next, grease the grease zerks on the front and rear A-arms and on the front prop shaft. To reset the service interval, ensure the key has been switched off for at least 10 seconds. Then, ensure the parking brake is set. Continue by placing the transmission in neutral. Next, hold the mode and reverse override button and turn the key switch on and release the switch as soon as the display is activated. Then, use the mode button to toggle to the service interval screen. Next, press and hold the mode button for two to three seconds until the wrench icon flashes. Then, release the button. Continue by pressing and releasing the mode button once to advance the setting by one hour. Press and hold the mode button to advance the hours quickly. Once the desired setting is displayed, wait until the wrench icon stops flashing and the new interval will be set. For more information, see your authorized Polaris dealer or visit polaris.com.